I'm going to answer it very generically and just say yes, and you're going to have to watch and see. But uh, I think we're going to go back to your 1795 Stone Road. I mean, history is starting to tie itself together. And and I think when you tie history and facts together, it proves that something was there. I mean, is it still there? Maybe we found it, and you guys are going to have to wait and see. Right, like the 1795 road, you know that cribbing starts yeah. at 1795 and maybe 200 years before that if it was sitting that's, there. That's right. I mean, that's well, from when the it first seen. So remember, we have no dates uh, or nothing. I don't want to say we don't have any dates. We have a lot of no dates, dates older than that. <laughs> yeah. Really, the first record we have that I'm aware of anyway is, you know, that 1795 road. So, you know, let's talk about Smith's Cove. We got 1,700 dates in Smith's Cove from two seasons ago and last season. So everything is is starting to point toward at least 1,700 or prior. Right. And everything is starting to go back, and our record is getting big, and we're starting to prove history in terms of we're piecing together the history that was found before us. And a lot of this was, well, a lot of it, but, you know, we had his records at the rest stalls were there, and, and I had record of where their shafts were that we found. And, um, because of old maps, old survey plans they left, and they left really good information. And I'm making a long story, a short story really long here. But what I'm getting at is, I believe it was there, and you're going to have to wait and see if we find it. Right. With the, uh, you have a lot of, there's a lot of shows left, I think, this year. Yep. And with the Dunfield uh, pit that he dug out, a lot of people PM me and ask me, well, we went 10 foot from OC1. We went 6 foot from uh, RC1. But, John... Dunfield opened up a pit 100 feet wide and 140 feet deep. And I'm telling them, I guess they just didn't go deep enough. You know what I mean? I don't know if this thing is under the bedrock or whatever, but they tell me, like, the drill should be going farther and deeper than they're doing before. They would ask me, well, why are they drilling again in the money pit? I thought they were just going to do a big dig, you know what I mean? So I tell, oh, sorry, go ahead. And I tell them, I don't think they went deep enough. You know what I'm saying? Even with the canisters, I don't think they just went deep enough. I don't know. What, can you answer that or no? Uh, I can talk about what you – so OC1 wasn't – I think it was outside, and I'm really confident it was outside of the Dunfield dig. And remember, the Dunfield, Dunfield dig was like a cone. You couldn't go straight down. Right. It was a cone. So right. it may have been you know, significant in size, but when he got to 140 feet deep, it was cone-shaped. Right. Um, OC1 was outside of the Dunfield dig, so I can say that. Okay. Okay. So that was in, uh, if I remember correctly, OC1 was based on uh, the work we did to find Shaft 2 in Season 7. And um, OC1, I can say, was one of the most successful caissons that we've done. Right. And, it, and you know, I don't disagree. I, I'm. If you go back to the first episode of Drilling Down this year, I said, you know, I want to go bigger and deeper. Um, I'm always on Ward and Billy. You'll get Billy in a war room. He'll be, he and I are on the same side. I always want to go bigger not, and I always want to go deeper. So anybody that wants to go deep in the money pit, I'm on, I'm on board. Okay, Steve, we got a question.